I know you had an amazing weekend, but you know who did not? Hollywood did. Hollywood, not such a great weekend. Let's talk about it. Well, I don't know about you, but Moral Day weekend is something I think a lot of people look forward to. And I think it's a great opportunity to get out there, bust open the grills, remember some loved ones, do all the good stuff with family, and maybe catch a flick. Because typically Memorial Day weekend is a good weekend for movies. But not this year. This year, we're looking at the worst Memorial Day weekend in about 30 years. Let's take a look. This is from the AP. Furiosa Garfield lead the lowest, slowest Memorial Day box office in decades. And it's, I don't really care that much about the box office. I wanted to make more of a point about movies nobody asked for. Right? I mean, Garfield's fine, but I didn't see any advertising for Garfield until about a week ago. And even if I wanted to go see it, Chris, how many voices can Chris Pratt do? You know, I think when people hear, like, they're like, okay, we can accept him as Mario, but now we have to accept him as Garfield too? Like, come on, people. Especially, who was the last voice of Garfield that people would remember? Oh, yeah, Bill Murray. Let's go from Bill Murray to uh, Chris Pratt and expect people to go see it, right? I don't know. It's just not like a big franchise that I would think a lot of people would be excited to go see. And then Furiosa is the prequel to a movie that has a lot of accolades. A lot of people like Fury Road. I love Mad Max. I love all of Mad Max. And I really like Fury Road. But guess what? Fury Road didn't make a lot of money. And I don't think anybody really asked for this. Like, did anyone care? <laughs> like, okay, if I think about Charlize Theron's character, who I thought was kind of annoying, do I really care how she lost her arm? Do I really care? Do I care how she learned how to drive? No, I don't care about any of those things. Do I care how she got abducted? They already told us her story. I don't really know that there's a story to be told here. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's go into the future of Mad Max, maybe. Or even just, why even connect it to Mad Max? Who needed this? Not I. So let's just take a look at it. And see, uh, and, and look at the two stars, right? Anya Taylor Joy and Chris Hemsworth. Well, first of all, I don't think anybody goes to see movies for anybody being a star. And Anya Taylor Joy, while she might be a hit on the red carpet, I don't think anybody's like knocking on her door for being a star or anything. And Chris Hemsworth, like his nose, I don't even know that people recognize him, first of all, because he has this weird prosthetic nose, which I don't like. And the, I don't. I just don't think the prosthetics work to sell the movie. Like, what am I? What am I looking at? Just put a mask on his face. If you didn't like that Chris Hemsworth was handsome, instead of giving him a big nose, you literally have Man Max has a history of characters with masks on their face, but you didn't do that. Why wouldn't you do that? I don't understand. Doesn't make any sense. So they're both, looks like they're uh, they're both going to fight for the top spot, bringing in approximately 25, maybe 31 million after the four-day weekend. Uh, which, it, you know, isn't bad. They're just not great, you know what I mean? Uh, the lowest earnings in, in for number one movies in 29 years since Casper, not adjusted for inflation in its first four days in 1995, that's pretty terrible. And uh, yeah, Top Gun cracked 100 million. <laughs> Little Mermaid made 118 million. I guess the live action one. And that didn't even do that well. That kind of petered out. A Quiet Place Part 2, 57 million. So we're going to say it's not that good looking, right? Uh, and the estimates were never that good, but the estimates for Furiosa were seventy mil or forty million, and it it made ten million less than that. And Fury Road, which came out what nine years ago, so this is a sequel to something from nine years ago. And I just want to point out, I love the director George uh, Miller, right? I think that's what his name is. Um, you'd think I would know that. But he, this is the second movie that he's had people complaining about it. And then 
Anya Taylor Joy is walking around complaining about like I had them rewrite all my scenes where I was crying and I turned it into me yelling because anyone wants to see that. I just feel like they turned people off. Uh, so it went on to gross three hundred and eighty million worldwide. I wouldn't exactly call that a huge hit, right? I think she's a fine actress, but she ain't bringing anybody into the into into, into the theaters. And look, Garfield only cost sixty million to make, so they can one hundred percent make that up. They can make they they can do it. It's got a good uh, B, B plus score. I haven't seen either of them. And I'm not going to review them. I'm not going to talk about the quality of either of them because I don't do that. Other people speculate about movies. Other review channels do that. I do not. I If I didn't see it, I'll be honest. I'll tell you, I have no idea. You know, I don't know exactly. They just weren't movies I was interested in. I mean, I'm mildly interested in Furiosa, but not enough to pay for it. Maybe I'd go see it because I do love Mad Max, but meh, meh. You know what I mean? Uh, so <laughs> we'll see what out. There's some other movies coming out this year, but let's take a look at the uh, here at Deadline reporting the same thing. Furiosa up in smoke with 31 to 33 million dollars, lowest Memorial Day weekend in decades. Make it clawed by Garfield. Hmm, very sad. Very sad. Yes, it's George Miller, and it won. That's probably the problem. Is it won multiple Oscars? Right, but it's a prequel and it doesn't have Mad Max in it. Like, why? Why? I just make a totally different movie then and don't connect it to Mad Max because I don't think anybody, if you would have told people that Charlie's, if you ask 10 people on the street who started Mad Max Fury Road, are they going to say Mad Max or are they going to say Furiosa? I don't know. I'm going to say two people, maybe one person says it. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Last movie in 29 years, Justice. And they haven't adjusted anything for for uh, for for inflation or what have you. Because, you know, inflation's a bajillion dollars right now. Uh, I, I really just wanted to point out, like, who asked for these movies? You know what I mean? Uh, the marketing. Like, I didn't see anything that was super exciting about Fury Road. I saw a couple trailers, and I was like, eh. You know, like I said, Chris Hemsworth in a bad nose does not make me want to go see this. They're even mentioning other movies that were worse than this. Think about this. Uh, these are movies that did that did better, right? <laughs> Here's Tomorrowland with George Clooney. Do you remember that movie? I sure don't. I never even watched it. Shrek Forever After. Which Shrek is that? Can you tell me? Tell me in the comments below. Which Shrek is that? Shrek Forever After? Is it Shrek 4? Well, I don't know. How about Prince of Persia made $37 million? Prince of freaking Persia. The, the movie. I fell asleep. I never even finished that movie. I watched about 20 minutes of it and fell asleep. Not in the theater. And then Sex in the City 2, another movie no one asked for, made $36 million. And Furiosa and Garfield couldn't beat that. That's pretty sad, right? Uh, again, Garfield making thirty million on sixty million dollar budget. That means they're right on. They're right on track. I think they're gonna do good. But I'm pretty sure they said Furiosa costs like hundred and thirty million to make. Why? And, and Fury Road was not a profitable movie, right? One financier says it cost too much and had high talent participation. You know, it won six Oscars and a Best Picture nomination, but that's not... I mean, unless you're going to submit it just for that, the sake of, of the... Like, you know what I mean? Like, you're just going to... Just because you want to win Oscars, right? Apparently, males went to Furiosa at 72%. That's crazy. And they probably wanted to see Anya Taylor join naked, and she probably doesn't get naked. So, just wanted to point that out. I thought this was an interesting topic, just something to run across, because obviously, we did something else for the weekend, because I don't think you guys saw it either. If you did, let me know in the comments below which one you think was worth your time. 
Or if, if Furios is worth my time, frankly, I'd be curious as I'm a pretty big Mad Max fan. I've seen all of the movies uh, at least twice, and Fury Road was would be the one I've seen the least. So uh, let me know what you think. I'm gonna not gonna break any of my deals, and I'm not gonna spin any wheels. But if you do spin a wheel and you want a deal, join our channel. You could join for as little as a dollar to feed a starving co-host of mine. Or what you could do is sign up for free. We have a audio podcast you could check out. Our reviews will kill you on iTunes. Not to mention, we live stream it here Friday nights, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come join the fun. It's a lot of fun, I promise. And uh, like and subscribe. Thank you for listening. Love all y'all, but I am on to the next one. Mm -hmm.